everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please excuse the way I look today, it's the weekend, I'm having a really bad hair day. So just kind of, you know, swept it back a little bit, so yeah. But you know, we're relaxing anyway, we're just in my room. Today I thought I'd show you guys my favourite photo editing apps for Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, whatever you post your pictures on. Um, I have about three, three different apps that I use, so all my pictures go through a bit of a process, but I thought I'd share them with you guys today. I know some people are really funny about not telling people what apps they're using to edit their photos and I don't know why because these apps are so widely available you're gonna hear about them one day and we all want our pictures looking their best so yeah let's get on with it now. So as you can see we have my phone screen just there and I'm gonna start from the beginning I suppose so I'm gonna choose a picture um, let's go with this one I took the other day um, so at work, I, we take outfit of the day pictures every day and yeah, I like to edit them just so they kind of go with my Instagram feed because my work Instagram and my personal Instagram, they kind of, not my personal one so much, but my work one kind of has this like monochrome, lighter kind of vibe to it. I just like it looking clean. So yeah, so we're going to go with this picture and so I'll show you the first thing that I like to do. So the first app I'm going to show you is an app called... Facetune. Oh, so first of all, you can see I kind of keep all my photo editing apps in one folder. Um, so yeah, Facetune. I think I know a lot of people um, know this app already. Uh, this is my favourite because it gives you a lot of control over everything. I used Photoshop a lot at university. I actually studied um, photography and then I really love the retouching side of it. And for me, Facetune, even though Photoshop has their own app, Facetune is a really kind of easy... I would say like Photoshop on your phone, even though it's not the brand. So the first thing I like to do is take a little look in and things like, I'm really nitpicky, so I like to reshape quite a few things and you can do this with the reshape tool and I just use refine, and I zoom in and I like to do it on things like zips because like wavy zips annoy me, so it's really easy. You can see that I'm just kind of like pushing, oh my fingernails are really cutting. But yeah, I'm just kind of pushing everything in, literally just sliding my thumb around the areas that I don't like. And then you can use, there's a tool here called Reshape, as you can see, and that does weird things like um, really pushes things in, but you know, who wants to look like that? But yeah, so that's all I do with that. And then another thing I like to do here is their filters are really good. I hate the Instagram filters, you know filters that already come with Instagram? I think they're so shoddy and so rubbish and a lot of them will look the same. And this is something that I also don't do, um, because I think I think this looks really cheap on the phone, is when people retouch their skin, but they do it really bad. There's a, a tool here called Smooth, and as you can see, just rub that on any lines, any creases, but come on, look at that. Who has skin like that? No one. And then you can doubly smooth it, and as you can see, it just kind of looks flawless, but it looks very flat and weird, so yeah, don't... Don't do that. <laughs> and then you could do things like details, so um, if I want, I don't know, like the texture in the jeans to pop out a bit more, I'll grab that detail tool and rub it over, and then you can see all the textures really coming out there. Um, doesn't look great again, I'm just showing you what the tools do. I don't know, that's kind of cool. Then you could add that throughout the whole jacket and whatever, whatever you want to do with that. But yeah, I really, really like that one. So what I'll do is I'll usually save that then. Um, save that to my camera roll. And then you're done with that. And then, this is the app I've been using forever, like ever since I've had Instagram. And I think it's like, I don't know, it was 69p when I got it, but I feel like it might be a little bit more expensive now. But Afterlight, for me, is such a cool app. So I'll go to the picture that I've just edited here. Use that. And then this is kind of like a light room where you control the lighting, the contrast, the sharpness, the saturation, everything like that. But I feel like this one does it a lot cleaner, a lot crisper, and it doesn't kind of like, you know, add unnecessary noise and stuff to your picture. So yeah, I like to whack up the brightness quite a bit. Um, take down out a little bit of the colour, just very, very subtle. And then I also like to... How do I explain this? So this one's shadows, and... You see the blacks go really black when you do that, or they go a little bit faded out when you go up the other way. Like I said, very, very subtle. But yeah, I like to do that because it gives it kind of faded look. Um, there is a fade tool on here, but I feel like it does it a bit too much. You can see there. So yeah, I don't do that. This one does come with loads of filters as well, but again, I don't really like 
any pre-made filter because with this one it's really good you control the warmth the exposure um, you can see you got like all your different like your mid tones your highlights and your shadow tones there so you can play around with that a little bit and then we've got the sharp the grain sorry here and then the sharpness tool here as well so you can whack that right up but again I prefer the kind of faded look this is my favorite of all time it used to be called line um, and I must say I prefer the look of the line camera but this is alias is that what it's called? I remember. Yes, this is Alias. So, again, this is by Naver Line Corporation. Um, I just love them. I think they're really, really cool. So, yeah, I'll take the picture that I just edited. But I don't use this a lot anymore. I used to use it quite a bit. But, um, you know, I'm trying to make my profile look a little bit grown up. So I use this with my work with my personal profile. Um, so this is amazing. You have all these stamps, Sanrio characters, Lion characters. And then you'll get, like, the occasional artist do like a special collaboration. Um, so yeah, I have bought a few. These are all the ones I bought, all kind of outfit based. Um, and then by my favorite artist, Choco Move as well. But they also come packed with all these kind of free ones. Most of it is a little bit girly, but then you get like the fun ones as well. But what I like to do with this one is add like little bits onto the picture. So like things that look like little doodles. So I might do like that, for example. And then maybe, you know, like I want, if you don't own this jacket, gotta get that, look at that. I just think that one is a really, really fun one to play around with, and, um, you know, like I said, there's unlimited possibilities to what you can put on there because you can just keep buying and buying them. I probably spent about £20 over the whole three years I've had this, so not too bad. Um, but yeah, it's just fun, I just really, really like it. Now this actually has something called the beauty option, and I never use this, but this will be great for you people out there who, um, like to play around with your pictures a little bit, like to add a little bit of character into your pictures, or maybe you've got like a makeup profile and you like to um, make everything look a bit more smoother, whatever. So yeah, I'll take a really quick picture. That's so horrible, but like, I just want to show you what it does. So you can like brighten your skin, which I think looks terrible, and you can smoothen it again, which doesn't look as bad as the face tune smoothing, but yeah. So I'm going to take that brightness right down because we don't want that. Now this is where it gets fun and you can make some kind of crazy, crazy things going on here. But you can kind of just choose what parts of your face you want to focus on. And then line up your face with the guidelines. It always mistakes my facial hair for my actual lips. I can imagine how big my lips would be if that was actually... Okay, so roughly lined it up. So you can slim your face down a little bit. You can make your eyes huge, smaller, whatever. Um, then touch, and you can do slimming large eyes, volume eyes, nose reshaping, uh, skincare, all that kind of stuff. So, um, like I said, I never really use this. I don't think it's necessary to start reshaping your nose and making certain parts of your body look bigger or smaller if you're just going to put a picture up on Instagram. I like my top three. They are my top, top three. Um, I also really, really love the easy eraser. You know when you're taking a picture... And there's just something in the way, there's just something really annoying you. For example, let's take this. Um, nothing is particularly annoying me on this, but let's say we don't like this rip in my jeans here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this over that and perform a raise. And it's gone. It's just really, really good for removing things that you don't want in the picture. So whether it's like a fire exit sign or maybe a light switch or, um, I don't know, you've got a stain on your top. <laughs> I don't know, anything like that. I think that's really, really good for. And I'm guessing everyone has this, but I think layout is kind of like the official Instagram uh, layout thing, if that makes sense. So you can select like a few pictures, let's take them. And then yeah, just obviously make like a little thing out of it. Um, little grid out of it. I've used Diptych before and like InstaFrame or something like that and they're just not very good and I feel like they always compress the size of the image, like the size of the file and makes it look like a little bit crap. But I always think that Instagram compresses your file anyway. But I love this one because it just looks really clean, really crisp. You haven't got like them borders as well. If you don't like the borders on your pictures then yeah you can always flip things around or the other way and yeah I just think that's like a really really Nice one to use.
So there we have my kind of three, four, five favourite photo editing apps to use. Um, let me know if you've got any more, like I love all the Cyber FM stuff, um, is it 99 Cent Brains or something? Um, they're all really, really cool, but um, let me know what ones you guys use. I always want to know about more because I just, I don't know, I like playing around with them, it's good fun. But yeah, um, any questions about anything, any ideas for videos, again, leave it all in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next week.